Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to run any AI model in GGUF format in Olama. So we will be covering the conversion from the GGUF format into the Olama format and loading it into Olama. Olama is a very easy way of running AI models and it's easy to install on Windows or Linux or on a Mac. Many of the popular models like for example, Llama 3.1 are available already if you search for them in the Olama models library. But if you're looking at the newer model or um, maybe less used or less known model, then you might not find it. For example, I found this uh, Lumi Open uh, Poro uh, 34B chat model, which I wanted to try out. And if I go under Olama here under models, I can find one of the Poro 34B models. But if I look at the model card, it's actually the non chat version of this model. So so that won't work for me. And also, there's only one quantis quantization level available. So I'll briefly cover why you would want to convert it and run it on Olama. So for example, for this Poro 34B, as for many other models, they are first maybe launched or released as safe tensors in the safe tensors format. And in this safe tensors format, the download size is huge. I think this 14 files maybe is over 60 gigabytes, and it uses a lot of uh, RAM or also GPU VRAM to run this efficiently. So then if you have a look, um, there's also a GGUF format released by LumiOpen. So the safe tensors format was uh, quantized and, and released as a 4-bit and a 5-bit version. And the reason you would want to use this GGUF format is that or kind of if you compare it to the safe tensors format, they're both used for storing AI models, weights and associated data, but they serve different purposes and are tailored for, tailored for different use cases. So, so the GGUF format is better suited for running the model with uh, quantization levels, which kind of compress the model, and then it's easier to run it on a more uh, limited hardware like consumer grade hardware or with less GPU RAM. So he refined also a different uh, from Bardovsky, a different GGUF packaging and there's uh, 8 bit, 6 bit, 5 bit and so on. And there's also explanations for the sizes of the different models. So it goes as, as low as 13 gigabytes for the uh, smallest one, but then the notes say very low quality. And uh, then on the higher end, it says extremely high quality, generally un unneeded, but max available quantization level. And for the G6, very high quality, near perfect, recommended. And uh, in this video, we will be looking at the Q5, which is high quality, recommended. So still this um, 26 gigabytes is uh, 28 gigabytes for the this M version is quite a lot. And if you want to run it efficiently, you do need a lot of GPU resources. So we will be running this on Lightning AI. But if you have more powerful GPU, and what Olama does in a very good way is, is that you can uh, partially run it on so you can partially run it on GPU RAM and partially on CPU, so you can utilize both. So Lightning AI is something where you can create a free account and you get 15 free credits per month and that allows for 22 free hours of GPU usage on the lower tier GPU and a bit less than if you choose a higher end GPU, but you also get free CPU hours. So it's a very nice environment for running AI models and I have other videos on it also linked down below in the description.
So I already have an account and I'm logged into Lightning AI and we can use studio templates to get kind of a quick start to um, so here's one studio template which I created before which already has Olama installed in a persistent way so I'll leave that also in the description so let's just press on open in studio and then open and this will launch and load the it will duplicate the studio environment with Olama already pre-installed and it will launch into CPU usage which is um, free so for doing the model transformation we can just run it on CPU for free and then switch to GPU later on I added here a readme on how to convert from GGU UF to Olama so it's actually very simple it's just a few commands we need so first we will be using the from hacking phase the Lumi open the Q5 KM version of the uh, quantized Poro 34B chat model so it will run this in the terminal so this is just a curl command to download the file let's just drop this here and press enter and it's doing the download and to me it seems that downloading some files is really fast I think it kind of depends if somebody in the Lightning AI environment has already maybe downloaded this before and then it's cached. So this is actually 24 gigabytes in just around a minute. So this is quite fast. Okay, so the model file download is actually already ready. And if you were wondering where to get the download link for the curl command, I just went here on the model page and on the files and versions chose the one which I want and then you can right click and copy link address to, to get that address here. So the next step is to so actually we are following the instructions from the Ola Market Hub page. So these kind of next steps are adapted from the from there. So we need to create a file named model file. So let's just copy this here. Go the right hand side, right click, new file, drop the file name there. And into that file, we want to put this from. And then it's a reference to the download is here. So referencing that file. So just paste that here. Control S to save the file. And then we need to run this command. So here we have the name for what the model will be called. And model file is the, the file. So we need to be in the same folder, but it's in the root. So that's that's fine. And since all my is actually not running, it's pre-installed in this environment, but it's it's not automatically started. So we need to run all my serve first. So let's just leave this uh, terminal window open click on terminal new terminal to open a new window and now we can create the model in Olama so just copy paste this command press on enter and it will um, convert the model into Olama format the time for this conversion kind of depends on uh, how la large the model is and I think also the CPU power does make a difference so there is some CPU usage, or at least there was a small spike we can see over here. This environment has now on the free tier, it has only four CPUs and it has yeah, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And here is where we would switch to GPU then next when we have the we want to when we want to run the model. In this uh, Lightning AI Studio environment, the content which is inside this Studio folder will be persistent, and Olama is installed in this environment in a way which has the Olama binary itself uh, inside the Studio folder. Here, 
and also the models are in the .olama models folder and um, yeah I had uh, I think llama 3.1 model was downloaded here already so one of these blobs it will be the the Poro 34B model which we are now creating and it seems it's transferring the data now so that's why it created a new blob in here okay now the conversion is ready and the model has been fully transferred in here in the blobs folder the next thing would be to run the model and test and make sure it's working so this is the command for doing that but since this model even though it's in this quantized um, version it's still quite large and it leaves quite a bit of RAM it would be very slow on CPU let's switch at this point to GPU resources and this will use up credits so here we see the cost per hour so on a, on a T4 GPU it would cost 0.68 of those free credits per per hour and we would get 16 gigabytes so for this GPU but just um, to make sure it would be fully running on on the GPU VRAM let's go for the L40 it will be quite a bit faster so let's press on confirm and now it's requesting it and it says it's ready in two minutes and um, all the things which were in this Lightning Studio folder will be persisted in this environment so then it will be easy to just pick off pick up where we left off and um, yeah Olama will not be started immediately because it's a kind of new kernel environment and we don't have in the on start sh we don't have that Olama serve command so we will need to manually start it and then we can run the Olama run command I will also share the readme steps in the video description and I will create a um, studio lab environment which with, with this Poro model so if you want to try it out directly in this environment without doing the download and install then you will have an easy chance to do that so okay it's ready so now we need to press on switch and now we are going into that mode where, where the credits are calculated or um, the cost will will be charged from the free balance we have here but still taking a moment to restore the persistent studio files so i think we can already do new terminal and then as mentioned we need to run or start the olama server in one terminal window and then press terminal new terminal and here we can start the model and now for the first time look there is a kind of icon here it's loading the model but for the first time it, it usually takes a bit longer so if you go here to gpu it says metric ready in three then we can go into vram so we should soon see a, a spike into vram usage but the first run usually takes a bit longer so don't get discouraged if it takes even two minutes but next time you start it it has been anyhow for me always fast oh yeah one thing to mention here that the terminal windows are here on the right hand side so you can also switch to the Olama serve uh, server side so it's it's printing out some logging data where you kind of know that it started doing something so it's not just idling okay it seems we got an error timed out waiting for llama runner to start sometimes this happens for some reason on the first load but has always worked for me if I just start it again and then following on the terminal window here I think now this means it's ready actually so that was almost instantaneous 
and let's um, do a prompt here. I find this response a bit diff strange. I'm an open source version of ChatGPT based on the GPT-3.5 architecture. But actually this is the Tiporo model, so it does um, quite well finish. So if you ask um, if a question in Finnish, then it's able to respond to it. And here we could also do Mitty Verbos. I'm asking it in Finnish uh, how you can help me, and it's responding very fast and it's giving 24, 5.1 tokens per second, so seems to work well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in how to publish this Olama model into the Olama models library so that other people can also have easy access to it and don't actually need to convert it or can publish your own models there, I'll leave a link in the description once I have made a video on that. Thanks for watching.